Okay, so the next step is to let's get into email templates and let's learn how to build those out and customize them. So over here to the left side of the screen, open this up and you'll see where it says view email templates. Now what we're going to do, you can see that I'm, I've been working on a few right here for demonstration purposes. We've got some pre-made templates right here. Now, once you see this, there'll be some more added in here. Let's go, let's pretend we're going to create a brand new email template. So these are the emails that customers are going to see once they make a purchase. So you've got right over here to the left of the screen, you've got insert Amazon template tags. These are customized variables about your product. And what I mean by that is let's just start putting a couple in here. So the first thing, if you look at the bottom right hand corner, it says choose a product for preview. We've got the helium 10 decorative cup. Now this is a, this is not a real product. This is just a product we use in here just for uh, demonstration purposes. So if we click plus over product image to the left and we pop the product image in over here on a preview, it shows you that it's going to, the customers will be able to see that image. So let's just do something super basic. Thank you for your purchase of, and then you've got your variable right here. Now you see, as soon as I made a mistake and took one of the brackets off, it went away. So it's very important that you look at the preview and you save it and send yourself a test email once you're happy with everything. Um, thank you for your purchase of, let's input the product short name. So you can see right here, product short name. Now this is the short name that we gave this listing. Now, obviously the, your listing isn't going to ideally only have three words in it. So under products over here to the left, you can, instead of having your 200 character title pop up in the product short name, you can go to products right here. And you can add a short name. So for example, we've got, again, we've got some uh, demonstration purposes. These are not real products, uh, but our tablet sample item. So let's say we change this to Helium 10 tablet 10 inch. I'm gonna make sure any changes you make on this screen, make sure you hit the save icon over here towards the top right hand corner, click okay. Now let's go back into email templates. Let's go ahead and go back into a brand new one. Your order has shipped. Now you can also use these template tags in the subject line. So for example, if you want to put your short name, let's click a product for preview. Now you can see the changes that I made on the product screen. Helium 10 tablet 10 inch is already in here. Your order of product short name. I didn't click that, did I? Has shipped. Now that's just an example. Get creative with your titles, but that's just an example of how to use the template tags there. Hello your order of as shit. Now you can put a product image in here. Now, earlier I said that you could customize these variables. So that what that means is certain ones that you can change this in here. Uh, for example, if you don't want that image to be that big, the variable in here is 500. We can just change that to 250. Now you don't want to make it too small, but you also don't want to make it super large because reasonably half the people viewing these emails are going to be on a mobile device. So you want to have it optimized for mobile. So let's keep it at 250 care, 250 right there. Um, now you can say order details are below. Now right here you can input 
purchase date. Now you can change this around. If you don't like the, the format of it, you can simply You see how I changed it from 2019, 22, 6 to 06, 4 slash 22, 4 slash 2019. Purchase date. Now, some of these you can't change the information in there. Obviously, there's no reason to change the order ID, so that's just not available. You can input your quantity. And then you can put in your estimated arrival date as well. Now that's just a very simple, very basic example of the first shipped email. And we're not gonna really go into copywriting tips and techniques here right now, but this is just to show you a couple of things that you can change around in here as well. Again, the estimated arrival time, you can see that it's 2019 hyphen six, hyphen 26. Me personally, I just don't like that format. But so I changed it to that. So again, that's up to you. Now, the reason I say these are variables is you can have this automated for and this can go out for all these different products that you're selling. And the order ID, the quantity, the estimated time of arrival, purchase date, the product short name, that will all change based on which ASIN you're selling. Now let's go into a couple of things down here. You've got a link for leaving seller feedback and we have a link for contacting if a customer, if an Amazon buyer needs to contact you in any way. And you've got a link for a product review and we've got one in here that shows stars. So the first thing I'm gonna do is leave feedback here. For example, if you don't like that term, if you don't, if you wanna change the, the, the language in there, you can just change the hyperlink to whatever you want. Obviously keep things, you know, professional, um, but you can change it, leave seller feedback here, or you can just take everything out and just say, hey, leave it here. Same thing for contact us, leave a product review. The stars as well is customizable. You can set that to five. There's tons of people that ask us, is it against terms of service to have the five in there or should I not have any in there? You know, I don't think it matters. Um, if you look at a, a, an email from Amazon about asking you to leave a review based on the products you've purchased in the past, they show the five stars. They're just a different color. Um, so I don't think it matters. You're not suggesting to them to leave a five-star review. You're not saying it anywhere. Um, but again, if you feel uncomfortable with it, just don't use it or just make it where they're all blank. This is the, the just a, the five-star outline is exactly what Amazon puts in their emails. So if we're going to use them as an example, we're going to assume that they're doing things, um, within their terms. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. It's a business decision that only you can make. So this is how you use these template tags. You can use these multiple ways in here. Um, now you can also change up your the font. So we've got three different to choose from. I would recommend that you kind of leave this alone. You don't want to go too crazy in here um, just because you want it to be easy on the eyes for a customer. You don't want it to, you don't want, you want it to look visually appealing. But you can change these things around here. You can change uh, how big, um, you can change the size of the font. You can change it through three different fonts. You can go bold and you can do italics. You do just a few things. You can actually have some bullet points in here. So especially if your product has any instructions, if you don't have a, a PDF attachment for these emails, I would highly suggest saying, hey, before you get this product, 
this is how you use it, or this is your setup instructions, or this best tips and practices, care instructions. You know, you can absolutely give them instructions. This is one, two, three, and four, however many you need. And then of course, So of course, down here at the bottom, you've got a couple other things. You can add an attachment. The only thing you can you can add an image, you can add a PDF. There's no reason to really add an image, in my opinion. Um, certainly have that option, but you can add a PDF document. Now, Amazon tells us in their guidelines that you can add an attachment. Um, I would keep it around eight megabits, uh, which is plenty for um, is plenty as far as a, a data size. That's plenty of room to give some instructions or maybe an ebook recipes, uh, anything that complements the product, um, especially to help fulfill the order. Um, you want to give these people, uh, give Amazon buyers all the instructions that they need um, to have the greatest experience with your product. All you have to do, um, this is very simple, click add new and you just decide to pick what product, like you've got, I've got a PDF right here, I'll click open. Now it's going to add it, click it and attach. And you know that a PDF is attached because when you open the template editor, we show you down here at the very bottom. Now you can also upload your own images at this point too. So if you want to put in a, um, a brand logo, a brand banner, a header, a footer, um, some other information in there, you can also upload, um, uh, some gifts. So real quick, I'm going to show you how to upload couple of things right here. I've already uploaded these to add them to add a brand new image or to add a brand new GIF. You just hit add new, it's very self-explanatory. You'll have to download them when you're using the GIFs and the images, keep it professional, keep it PG. Um, the last thing you want to do is offend anybody and, uh, with the, with your follow-up messages. So let's insert this image right here. Let's say this, we want this to be the banner. Now maybe for you, that's too big. You can resize this image. So we can go up and we can go down just by gra grabbing it, the, the bottom right hand corner, any of the corners and uh, clicking and holding down a mouse and changing it just like that. Now, you want to get creative, keep it lighthearted. Like I said, you can add some gifts in here. Something very simple. Now, again, there's a 10 megabit limit to each email per Amazon. So if you start loading a bunch of images in here, several gifts and attach a PDF, it might not go through and you'll be notified by Amazon if it won't go through. So, but again, you don't want to overload, um, these just for a visual purpose too. You don't want to have three different gifts in here and with a, a banner. Uh, keep it simple. That's the best the best thing about these, um, in my opinion. And if you don't have any, you can actually make your own. But if you just want to find something simple, just search. Just do a Google search on, you know, making your own gift or, you know, finding gifts. Something very simple, just like a thank you purchase. Now, if you change your mind, you don't like something, click on it, hit delete, click on it, hit delete. Let's highlight this and change it back. There we go. Now, there, once you're done, once you're happy with these messages, it's very important, hit the save button. Um, if you don't save it, you got to start all over. And then you want to send yourself a test email just so you know what it's going to look like once a buyer sees it. Now, when you hit test, send test email, you can send it the email that's on your Helium 10 account, the email address on your Helium 10 account. That's what it's going to send to. You can change that up and send it to anything to any other email address that you prefer. Now, when it comes to you in test version, it's gonna come from h10mail.com. It's only in test mode. In test mode, we, it's, once a customer makes a purchase, 
and it goes through Amazon's buyer seller messaging system, it's going to come to them in the form of marketplace of Amazon.com. So if you're getting these test emails and you're trying to check things out and it says H10 mail, that's the way it's supposed to work because it's coming directly from Helium 10. It's not going through the buyer seller messaging system. Now, one last thing, these links in here, if you go through here and you click one of these, like leave a product review, this is not going to work for you. I was just in my Mexico account. That's why this is okay. Let me get out of this one. Sorry about that. I'm going to go back in here and show you this real quick. Still going to this. Now, from here, once you're done and happy, you can create a template name. Template shipped. Once you start having several templates for several different marketplaces, it's very important to make sure these are all organized um, the best way that you see fit. You don't want to spend a lot of time looking at each individual one to figure out which one it is. And you've got a, two things here. You can preview this real quick to make sure this is what you want to send. Now, if you have created this and you want to create something very, very similar across multiple marketplaces or across multiple products, you can just hit copy. And it takes everything that you created in that one and then you can do template to shift. And then of course, if you're unhappy with something, you just hit, hit delete and confirm and it's gone. If you delete it, it's gone forever. We don't have a way to get it back. You don't ask. Okay, that's everything about your uh, email templates, editors, and how to use the template tags. Yeah.